Welcome to Counterpoint Conversations. This is Neil Shah from Counterpoint Research. And today I'm in Shanghai with the Lenovo team at the APEC Analyst event. And today I have a special guest with me, Mr. Kamran Amini, who heads the ISG group, the Infrastructure Solutions Group mm -hmm. at Lenovo and responsible for everything related to AI right now. AI is a hot buzz, buzzword. And he's selling whatever he gets from NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. So the demand is for real. But if you can just break it down into how, it, how does it translate into your end customers, mm -hmm. enterprises, as well as hyperscalers, where they are seeing the benefits, and uh, is this really a hype? Or when, when are we going to see more of the ROIs for everyone? Yep. Uh, I think today, one of the things we're seeing in general, from a Lenovo perspective, we're serving the cloud and the enterprise customers, which is a very unique position from an OEM perspective that a server technology can address both of those. As you can imagine today, a lot of the adoption, early adoption of AI has been around GPT, chat GPT kind of style, and really heavily driven by cloud service providers as they're trying to deliver service offerings to end users or customers. The other area we're seeing huge adoption starting to happen is around the edge use cases, which is around the retail, manufacturing, smart cities, mm -hmm. healthcare. Those are areas that are not in your traditional classic enterprise data centers, but where there's close to the data that analytics needs to happen, AI right. intelligence is happening. And that's where I think Lenovo has been positioned really as a leader with our edge computing that is enabled for AI as well. That's great. And you talked about democratizing AI, AI for all, mm -hmm. right? You just don't sell the hardware, but you have the entire portfolio. Uh, on software and services, you talked about some examples like AI Pod as well. Can you talk about your strategy in terms of go to market with respect to the infrastructure? Absolutely. So I think one, first of all, is one size of hardware doesn't fit every AI use cases. So we have over 80 platforms that are optimized to be able to deploy AI either at the largest scale, large language Gen I to the smallest edge device sitting outside of a data center. Mm -hmm. They're all enabled to be able to leverage accelerators and deliver a form of AI. Of course, in addition, is around delivering the software stack and the orchestration stack. So of course, we do sell NVIDIA AI enterprise software. We do sell Red, Red, Red Hat AI software. Mm -hmm. And of course, the other part that we deliver is around our management and orchestration called Lico, which is really mm -hmm. trying to ease the orchestration and deploying of AI frameworks. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, what we're trying to do is make AI consumable. The biggest challenge of AI is understanding not just the infrastructure you need, but then the framework libraries and the entire stack, okay. plus the services delivered to implement it. And that's where we've delivered solutions with some of the key partners in the industry. Mm -hmm. So AI Pod, as you referenced, is our partnership with NetApp and NVIDIA, really trying to bring enterprise AI for training, RAG, and inferencing consumable in a converged infrastructure solution. We've also extended solutions for the cloud. Mm -hmm. As customers are deploying hyper-converged for their private or hybrid cloud solutions, how do you take AI and make it another workload on top of that existing environment? So we announced at .next with Nutanix, a GPT in the box, which is bringing capabilities running on our Think Agile, HX, Nutanix solutions to bring AI to those use cases as well. That's fantastic. Uh, also, you touched upon the, the biggest inhibitor right now is power. And you have a great differentiation story over there with respect to helping hyperscale enterprise save power. And that has been a major, major bottleneck. So yes, infrastructure is the first part. But I think what we we're looking at is really the, how you deploy technology at a data center level and address some of the power and cooling challenges. Mm -hmm. So with Neptune water technology that Lenovo brings, you know, we have over a decade of delivering solutions. We just announced our sixth generation of offerings. It's about how do we bring water for these large rank systems to be able to actually take away the heat. That way you don't need to have as much air conditioning inside a data center to cool that server, which drives massive data center costs down. And that's an innovation that we've had leveraging in our high performance computing technology for years. 
and we brought it over to the enterprise class and our general products, and of course with the Gen AI platforms. That's great. In terms of savings, which is the OPEX savings, it's close to 40 to 50 percent of energies. Yeah, so with our warm water cooling servers today, our DEN servers, customer can basically eliminate almost 100 percent of the heat via water, warm water, which is not chilled. And we're seeing on average up to 40 percent savings from an expense perspective. So when customers really are transforming their data centers and moving to a Lenovo Neptune solution, they can actually see huge benefits financially, but also now enabling their data centers to be able to continue to expand and drive more technology into it to be, bring value for their line of business. Great. In terms of the differentiation, you, uh, you said this is a differentiation, but also in terms of ecosystem partnership, or can you talk about how you're going to market with this? You also touched upon hybrid infrastructure, which mm -hmm. is also becoming quite popular because not everything will be on hyperscaler, but also on-prem. Yeah, so I think Neptune is a great, from a technology perspective, also when we look at the breadth of capabilities from the edge computing, which is very unique and driving edge, I think part of our philosophy has been we have to partner with the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So all of our solutions support the Intels, the AMDs from CPU technology. Uh, we announced latest generation with Grace Hopper and Blackwell technology with NVIDIA mm -hmm. uh, GTC recently being the, one of the OEMs that actually deployed the full rack solution. Also, what we're driving is around the software aspect and orchestration of these AI platforms. And lastly is around how do we partner with the right software ISVs that are driving mm -hmm. this? For example, we talked about Red Hat AI. How do you bring that Linux-based solution and open source into the AI environment. Nutanix is another great example. Right. Microsoft and how we're driving solutions with Microsoft, not only on our AI PCs, but actually in our enterprise class solutions with Azure HCI okay. solutions as well. So it's looking to the leveraging the power of the ecosystem to really bring a value for the end customer. That's a big, big differentiator. So what, what would be your key to takeaways mm -hmm. for our audience in terms of where the industry is going in the next couple of years and what what would be your biggest differentiator? So I think the AI journey today is for the enterprise class is really the start of the journey. I think many enterprise customers were dabbling in the cloud to do what I call AI DevOps of their application. I think because of data sovereignty, data protection and AI, they want to run that on-prem. I think that journey is coming mm -hmm. now. I think the other exciting thing for us with differentiates is where, of course, the technology, we're driving innovation, but with our services and our SSG organization is bringing that consultative mm -hmm. and approach to where we could help them with our data scientists that they don't have the skills on hand to be able to help them build the AI models and be able to put it through a POC and eventually a production environment. So that's where I think Lenovo is really approaching it from an end-to-end mm -hmm. perspective, not just the hardware, but also the services level as well. Brilliant. Thanks, Amran. Nice meeting you. And Pleasure thanks meeting for the you. Insights. Thank, Thank you very much.